Hi, I'm Rolo, the rabbi's canine horror, and I'm looking forward to celebrating my first Pesach. I've started my preparations early. In any case, I do spend most of my days searching for chametz in every corner of the house and garden, although it isn't so easy for me to hold a feather and a candle. People sometimes ask if I'm Jewish. Hmm, the answer is no. I read from left to right, and I believe in dog. Shame, I won't get a bark mitzvah. Mostly my diet is kosher chicken bones. Yum! But I don't keep a strictly kosher kennel. So what about Pesach? Over Pesach, even pets can't be fed chametz. Just like with milk and meat, my folks aren't allowed to get any benefit from it, which includes the benefit of giving it to me. Moreover, it's not allowed to be seen in the house or the garden, and that means I can't get the neighbours to come around and feed me their sandwiches or dog biscuits with chametz flour. Does that mean that I'll be crunching matzo with the rest of you? You bet, but not too much, need I say more. Actually, I'll be on a similar diet to normal, raw paschal lamb chops and plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables. Maybe I'll get to lick out the haroset bowl if nobody's looking. Believe it or not, there are dog foods approved for Pesach, both canned and dry. I was amused while surfing the net to see that there was, of all things, a chicken and bacon canned food which was approved for dogs for Pesach by one of the major kosher companies in America. And no, it's not a typo. I am allowed to eat chaza, but obviously not off the family plates. I was quite astonished to see that there's even dry food for Pesach, and it's available in the mainstream pet shops. In fact, you might even be using it already. Some varieties of the American imported kibble from the science diet are really chametz free and pooch approved for Pesach. Do note, you do need to check the listings for your variety as well as the ingredients. So how come they're Pesach doggy? Many of the dried pet foods are made from corn or rice flour, and this makes them kitniot. Unlike chametz, which must be disposed of, kitniot produce can be kept and used for pets, even us Ashkenazi ones. Obviously, the human folk can't share it with you. So, please encourage your owners to kasha their houses properly for Pesach, and that includes giving the family pets, furry, feathered, finned, or fluffy, appropriate food over the eight days. In coming videos, I'm looking forward to sharing with you more of the halachas of hounds in Jewish houses. Meanwhile, can you guess which bit of the Seder is my favourite? The matzah crumbs under the table? No. Sniffing out the afikoman? <laughs> Fun, maybe. No, it's Chad Gadya, of course, the song where I make an appearance. Now where is that cat?